Chelsea fans returned home today, having again made the headlines not for football, but for crowd disruption. Chairman Ken Bates is expected to defend his club with the clear evidence that the official fans were not involved, and the fans themselves maintain they were provoked. You treat people badly, they behave badly. They behave badly, you treat them badly. It's, I don't know where it's going to end, I really don't. There are an element in Chelsea that, that is a problem, but I don't think it was there last night, just uh, the place. The scenes of chairs being torn up and the resulting baton charges by Spanish riot police happened in the area set aside for fans who bought their tickets in Spain. Scotland Yard's Criminal Intelligence Service made it clear that it was a Spanish decision to allow fans to buy tickets at the ground. Something the Football Association has advised against in the past because it encourages the wrong kind of fans to travel. Chelsea's match against Bruges in February also had its share of disturbances but the Belgian authorities' decision to expel fans who came without tickets resulted in a trouble-free match inside the stadium. UEFA says it's waiting for reports from its delegate in Zaragoza and from the referee before it decides on what action, if any, to take on the matter. But it'll probably come as a relief to the European football community that Chelsea's comprehensive defeat last night almost certainly excludes it from any foreign matches for some time. Andrew Wilson, Sky News. Gossa den 3 zu 0 Sieg ihres Teams zu feiern. Vorher hatten sie Angst vor der randalierenden Horde, die mit dem FC Chelsea London zum Halbfinal-Hinspiel im Europapokal der Pokalsieger nach Saragossa gekommen war. Wehe, wenn sie losgelassen werden. 300 englische Randalierer nahmen schon während des Spiels die Tribüne auseinander. Dabei rissen sie die Sitze aus der Verankerung und warfen sie auf spanische Fans und die Polizei. Die Sicherheitsbeamten knüppelten auf die Raudis ein. Bei den blutigen Auseinandersetzungen wurde sogar auf friedliche Zuschauer eingeschlagen. 16 zum Teil schwer verletzte Personen mussten ins Krankenhaus gebracht werden. Auslöser für die Krawalle war der Frust der englischen Fans über die deutliche Niederlage gegen Saragossa. Nachdem die Spanier in der 56. Minute den dritten Treffer erzielt hatten, waren die Hooligans völlig durchgedreht. Bei der Ankunft in London beteuerten die Randalierer ihre Unschuld. Sie warfen den Spaniern Brutalität vor. Clubchef Bates machte allein die Medien verantwortlich. Sie hätten die Stimmung schon vorher vergiftet.